Good morning from the horseshoe kid, guys. I've been steady after the sturgeon lately, but today we're doing something a little different. We're gonna chase some walleyes in a spillway. I'm gonna show you guys how we get this done. I'm gonna have a ton of fun, and uh, hopefully we get a great video together, guys, but uh, that's enough talking about it. Usually spillways can be pretty busy, so anyone can roll up at any time, and uh, having a camera, bunch of camera gear to set up doesn't help my speed, so. Uh, if you are one of those guys who fishes in a spillway on a boat, get a life. It's one of the few places guys can fish from shore in a lot of these lakes. Give them the chance, guys. I'm just bugging you about get a life, but come on, give these guys a chance and a place to fish just like you have the entire lake. So remember, guys, spillways, um, it actually doesn't fall under, a lot of them don't fall under the 30 meter rule in Alberta. Uh, as we know, there's a 30 meter rule of where and where you cannot fish. Um, if it's a fish passing device. Um, spillway doesn't actually fall under that um, because there is no fish ladder. Uh, so we can fish right up next to it. We are not gonna fish next to it. I find the best thing to do is fish back from it, bounce yourself back, cast up into it, bounce yourself back. So let's go do some of that and uh, we'll have some fun guys. All right, first cast. Black twister tail, six inch. Shimano seven foot medium, fast action SLX. Teamed up with the 2500 Piscifun Carbon X. Let's see what we can make happen here. No first cast jazz. No sign of life yet. Guys, I'm fishing a 10 pound mono leader, eight pound braid. Guys are like, why do you fish mono instead of fluorocarbon? Well, I am certainly a big fan of having a bit of stretch. With like a three foot leader, I got, I don't know, maybe six inches of stretch out of that leader. And those wall, I give those big head shake, that's, it's kind of nice to have for sure. Let that get down, just popping it. Keeping that line tight, popping it. I guess I should close my truck door. Such a basic technique, guys. You pick these up at Walmart, whatever. Walmart, Canadian Tire, nice and cheap. You don't need a fancy rod. These spillways are all easy access, public access. It's easy fishing. Get some really, really nice walleyes this way. Not fishing this bait super fast. Maybe a couple twitches, not many. It's a deeper diving bait, so it's just gonna run across bottom, bang those rocks, and hopefully stir up a big old walleye. And potentially a pike, because we're in a spillway, and you know, any lake that's got pike, they're gonna be in the spillway too. <laughs> what did I just say? What did I just say? A pike in the spillway. That, oh, chill out buddy, you stay down there then. Oh, no, 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 no. 
He's got himself all wrapped up. Easy peasy. Guys, that's a tiny pike, but we got the day started with a fish. Ooh, you smell so bad. <laughs> and he's off right on, guys. Well, we got a little pike so far, guys. We're throwing the shad wrap still. Or tail dancer shad or whatever it's called from Apollo. Blue and silver. We're having a good time this morning. It's nice and early, about 6.30. We're trying to get us some walleyes. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a good dogger. That feels like a walleye, you guys. That feels like a walleye. That feels like a good walleye. Or maybe it's a, well, you know, could be a really good walleye here. Unless it's a silly little pike. Ah, it's another pike, but that's a good pike, guys. I don't know about silly little pike. That's a good pike. Whoa. We only got a 12 pound leader, so I'm pretty nervous here. Pretty nervous here. That's a pretty good pike. On the shad wrap. Tail dancer. Right on. Another fish in the net. Another fish in the net. We'll keep them nice and wet here. That's a big old head on this girl. Really nice pike, you guys. Check that fish out. Nice big head on it. Not the species we're after, but we'll find ourselves a walleye here shortly. Couple nice pike to start the morning, guys. That last one was a good one. I'm stoked on that. With the drone in the air, too, that's cool. He definitely had me thinking he was a walleye off the start because, like, he was just kind of dogging. But he woke up, good sized fish. Good sized bottom there. This is too expensive to lose. I'll be back. As you can see, I'm back to the jig. Didn't get the tail dancer back. <laughs> like I said, guys, it's really rocky in here, really snaggy. You gotta be prepared to lose gear. It happens. No point in getting mad about it. That's why we go to work in the morning, strictly to buy fishing gear. Me anyway. I'm just popping this, guys. Let her sit for a second, make sure she's down. Pop, pop, pop. Obviously guys, you can use bait in these when bait is allowed. I try to avoid that as much as I can. I just had to eat there. Try to avoid using bait. We'll probably get into some just to show you guys, but we'll see. Right now we're focusing on trying a little more active presentations. Find active presentations are gonna help you hook up on more fish. This is gonna be another pike. But it doesn't feel like it's a bad one. Definitely another pike. Not what we're looking for, but we are on the pike today, guys. This is like eight pound leader or 10 pound mono leader. Luckily I can see the hook in his snout. Are you the same fish I caught earlier? Are you the same one as the first one? You just didn't learn? You ate the, sh you ate the tail dancer, now you ate the jig? Is that what's going on here? Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, relax. Chikai, Chikai. Learn that one from Clayton Schick. Just in case you wanted to see, guys, another slime ball. Let's get it back right away in the net. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.
Oh, nice bike. Oh, just hammered that bait. Just hammered that bait. Yeah. Good fish. Good fish. Right on, guys. Have a look at that. Just absolutely annihilated that bait, guys. Ooh. Yeah, look at that, just crushed it. He seen that coming a mile away and he wanted every single bit of it. Look at those wounds, guys. Sure. So the giant bait then. Giant musky like bait. All right, so we're fishing for, I don't know, hour and a half there. Rain started coming down pretty bad. I have to replace one liter. I have a lure on I don't want to use. Actually, I have to replace two liters. That was a bull phase lie. Um, well, it depends if I want to throw that pike rod some more or not, but I'm having a blast throwing the bait caster. I never used that before, so it's a lot of fun. Um, but it's pouring right now, absolutely pouring. And I was like, well, maybe I want to chuck some flies some streamers see what I want to do here but just taking a quick break warming up you know it's a little chilly out we got probably five or six pike on the board hopefully some of that footage is pretty cool for you guys it was a lot of fun for me I love how pike just go nuts when you hook them and the drone over top while I was doing that was probably pretty cool so um, but yeah we're gonna get back out there pretty soon still haven't caught the walleye that we're after we need a walleye if we could do it on the fly that'd be super cool but uh, yeah, we're going to keep plugging away, guys, and I am going to blow the fish whistle, see what happens. All right. It's been slow for a little while, guys. Changed some baits. The pike don't seem to be cooperating. I'm like, oh, I'll switch to pike, and now I can't catch a pike. If I fish walleye, I'll catch pike. I was hoping to do reverse psychology and get a wall out on the pike gear. It's all right though. Get her back out there. Work at getting a walleye lure tied on here right away. Get back to the other gear. See if we can get a pike here though. First fish on the bait caster fell wicked. I'm not complaining. It is not the most beautiful day out. It is pretty chilly. We're making the most of it. Oh, there was a strike. Whoa! Hey, crazy strike, man. That's a beautiful pike. Beautiful pike. Big jump. That was awesome. Oh! Ho, ho. I gotta say, this bait caster is fun, you guys. We're getting into some good fish today. Wow, he gobbled that bait. He wanted that bait. That is a good fish. Another great fish, not a monster. By any means, we got the pliers ready. Jesus cripes. The old flicker shot is just digging. 
looking for a walleye. It's scoping, searching, anything. It says, hey, come on out. Have a blast with Adam. Come visit Horseshoe. It's literally beautiful out when it's not raining. Well, I mean, it's still spitting, but I mean, yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. You know, Nah Mean. You ever heard Nah Mean by Method Man? That is a sweet song. Sweet song. And if you haven't watched Wu Tang Clan or Wu Tang and American Saga or American Story, <whistles> check that out. Disney Plus. Epic series. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to bleep with. These walleye best protect the neck. Bingo! Oh, just as I say, these walleye best protect their neck. I hook into a pike. Or is it a walleye? It's a walleye. The old flicker shad turns us a walleye. He's kind of hooked. Whoa, he's barely hooked. That fish may come off. Look at that. Yeah, in the net. Walleye baby on the flicker shad. So guys, that's the first walleye of the day. Here's the bait I was using, the Berkeley flicker shad. I'm calling it the graffiti perch, but it's more of like a natural perch with that orange tail. And you can just feel that bait digging. Listen to that noise. I mean, retrieving it real slow. I was retrieving it back from me through the current, like like uh, away from the current. And bam, that walleye just smoked it and took off like crazy. I thought it was a pike, but uh, first walleye's on the board. We crushed a bunch of pike today, so let's keep hammering them and see what we can get into. I want to see a giant. Let's see some 25 plus. That was maybe an 18, 19 incher. Beautiful fish, would have been a great eater, but can't keep him. So let him go and let's get back to it. We're hooked up. Big pike. That's a big one. That's a big pike. Holy moly. I don't know if it's as big as I originally thought. It's a nice one. Yes, in the net. In the net. Did I catch this fish earlier? Like that black spot looks familiar. Okay. This fish is bleeding a little bit. So I'm just gonna hurry up and get her back. Oh yeah, 100% I caught this fish earlier. Wow, sweetheart, what are you doing? Man, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, I wanna get the hook out of you too. Jeez, look at those marks in her. Like that looks like she got bit by a gi giant fish. All right, so, well, she absolutely inhaled it. So the bait works. Um, the, the hook didn't pull out as planned. Stay here, baby girl. Get this fish unhooked. Easy peasy. Right in the top of the mouth. Guys, that's the same fish I caught earlier. 100%. 100%. Look at that thing. Epic. That is catch and release at its finest. I caught that fish like literally an hour ago, sat in the truck, took my break, throw this paddle tail on, cast it out, boom, pike on, exact same pike. Obviously I'm in a small area fishing the same area, but that fish is healthy, that fish is ready to eat again. That is epic. This bait is so erratic under the water. It just goes nuts. Nice slow retrieve. That rain is really picking up now. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. I just lost this bait. Literally just lost that bait. How about that? That is not cheap. That is epic. 